Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a video in Dyson Sphere program. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your mines or your base from the start for maximum efficiency. So we've got iron or iron veins there. We have copper veins there and we have stone veins over there. Now these are probably the biggest essential of your start to your base. And today we are going to be setting up iron, copper, cogs circuits and stone so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please remember to leave a like and if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel now the tip with the mines first the first tip would be to get at least six veins for one mine so that is what three six seven so that's good so we're happy with that then i want to actually rotate this that is one two three four five so there we go so that's six so you want to get six veins for one mine now the iron i recommend going two mines because it's probably the most important resource out here okay uh, for this tutorial video, obviously, I'm not going to use the wind turbines like you would in the first game because I've actually got a whole base here that uh, I've been doing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to bring power to this current setup. The first tip that I want to get into is really when you take your mines, what I recommend doing is always connecting these to a storage unit because if you connect them to a storage unit, it, it allows for your mines to work constantly. Like I'll show you an example now of when it is not working constantly and it's, it's slightly annoying. So what I do is I make sure there's storage is coming in there and we, we are actually now storing iron ore or iron veins. Or, I think it is actually iron ore. So it'll be like that, right? Now you'll see the mines are constantly operating. It's a constant, it sounds smooth. I wanna show an example of where this is not the case the mines like this and as you can see what's actually happening here this is probably not the best way to do it because you see this mine is running constantly and this one is going on and off the whole time and you don't really want that in an efficiency game what we're going to do now is from our iron ore we are actually going to create a set of smelters and we're going to utilize the space as nicely as possible what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to make so the general rule of thumb is three smelters for every mine that has oh, sorry six six uh, iron veins so we're going to take the smelter now so because we have two mines we're going to use we're going to make six smelters especially for ore what needs to happen with the ore with the smelters we're going to make six smelters and we're going to have a gap in between just because we want to one two three four five we can actually let's do this let's make sure that we are Okay, there we go. So we're going to have a bit of a space in between. And I would recommend two spaces. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go six here. Now, from here, we are actually going to build iron ingots. So we're going to smelt iron ingots. And then smaller than tab, greater than to copy. So just go greater, greater. So smaller than, that's the first tip I would like to sort of add in there. Is when you have a lot of smelters like this, what you can do is you go smaller than on your keyboard and then you go greater than, greater than. So it's like a copy paste function. Now, we're going to make sure that this is being fed. So as you as we construct this, have you guys noticed that we've still been mining consistently and there's been no lag in production. Now what we're going to do is we're going to feed it from the system so that if this is not enough, it will basically fill up so once this bottleneck's here and the iron ore fills up these smelters we can still collect iron ore so this should essentially do its best and fill up everything right so the rule of thumb is i tend to like to have all the storage units in one place so all the storage units are going to just be sitting here if that makes sense and I'll show you at the end of the video. Also, guys, there will be a bonus tip at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around for that. Now, with copper, things are a little bit different. That being said is because if you notice, when we build a smelter, you will notice that we actually need iron ore as well to make magnets. So you go to the gathering. And remember the, the rule of thumb with your mines is that it needs to be at least six. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. But what are we going to do to add to this, right? Is that from iron ore you want to make sure that you are making iron that you're making magnets so what we're going to do is we're going to add three smelters here that are making magnets now these are not as important as iron ingots okay so we're back at the copper now so looking at the copper this is how we set it up obviously and we are then going to bring the copper to make copper ingots now we've got um, one mine so we're going to use three smelters 
which is the recommended ratio. And we're going to store it there. This is unnecessary to be there. I'm going to bring in copper ore. And take out copper ingots, which we're also going to store. So let's store this here. Also, the reason why I'm not using the Sorter MK2 is because when you start the game, you're not going to be utilizing that. You're not going to have access to it. Okay, so this is what our base looks like now. So we've got the iron veins, we've got the copper veins. Our next basic resource would be stone. So we're going to go here and make a stone, and we're going to make that into concrete. So we've got iron ingots, copper ingots. And then we will move on to the more complex things that the assembling machine is utilized for. Okay, so we have gone with the usual setup with the stone ore, with the stone veins. We've gone one mine, six veins, storing the stone ore. We're bringing it over here, and we are going to create three smelters. We will bring over here. So we'll go one, two, one, two. And then we'll bring that in there. And we'll make sure the glass is going to the second conveyor belt. We'll make sure that the stone brick is going to the first one. And then we will add a Tesla tower here to make sure that we are powering everything. So now you'll see what will happen is we've got glass, stone brick, copper, and iron. Now onto the, I would say, second part of your basic base building needs, right? So we're gonna build cogs, circuits, and stone. Well, we've got the stone brick, so we don't actually need that. So we're just gonna do cogs, so iron cogs, and circuits, and then the other one is magnetic coils. When you're starting out, I recommend only doing one of each. It is a little bit of a complex resource. So I would place it, or maybe even two, actually, we could probably do two. So what we'll do is, we'll bring in the magnets that we've made previously. And then from here, what we will do is, for every, because we're storing it there, right, what we can do is, there's a couple of things we can do. We can either go directly from the smelter into the, into the assembler, or, so we'll have two going into the assembler. So, what you can do is, you can either, there's a couple of options here, you can either keep it there or delete these two, okay? So, we'll select the magnetic coil, and here we'll select the magnetic coil. And then, many ways to skin a cat. So as you can see, we are getting enough copper ore, but we are not getting enough, sorry, we are getting enough magnets, but we're not getting enough copper ore. So for the purposes of this illustration, what I'll be doing is, I'll be deleting that and deleting that so that these smelters go out directly into here. What we will do is we'll bring the smelters this way, bring it in like that, and we will make a storage for the magnetic coils. Input, output, input, output. We'll build that. And what should happen is now the magnetic coils should actually be stored. Which is the goal. So we can tick that off. Now the next thing you'll also see is that if we place the assembly again, we'll see that cogs are made from iron ingots. But luckily, look what we have here. Iron ingots. I would say... Let's stick with two. So with cogs, we need cogs to make conveyor belts. So it is actually quite an important resource to have. As you can see, we're constructing that manually. That actually worked out brilliantly. <laughs> Look how brilliantly that worked out. Wow. Okay. So if you wanted to, we could always add on and just make this all cogs there. And it should work. So we'll have the output, input output to there. And then we will be storing the cogs here iron ingots we've got our magnetic coils we've got our cogs we've got our copper ore we've got our stone brick and got our glass the last thing i think we need to still make is our circuits so with circuits we need iron ingots and copper here's our copper and here's our iron ingots so what we could do is we could actually have a system here somewhere that brings in iron copper ingots from here and iron from there so for illustration purposes let's have a look see here i'm gonna build two but we're gonna build them we're gonna build them over here. So we build them here. One, two. I'm sure it does. Yeah, it can go three. Okay, that's good. 
So we've got one there. Bringing in the iron ingots. So it should stack up now. Which is good to see. Then... We shall be bringing some copper into the place over here. So we'll go there like that. So what will happen is you'll probably see that it'll stop storing some copper ingot. But once this bottlenecks, this and this bottlenecks here, and this fills up is what I'm saying. So it'll fill up here. This will then start storing again. We need a place to store them. So this is going to be a little bit of a, a tricky one. In terms of... Actually, it's not going to be tricky at all. Watch this. So we're going to go there. Up. We're going to store the circuits there. We're going to make sure that we're bringing in the circuits there. So what you'll see, once this starts... Uh, stacking up here it will go through so now we are actually building circuits and that's pretty much i think that we've covered everything for the video so that would be my guide to how to set up your base from the beginning okay so we've got the the the, the basic resources we've got our circuits we've got our glass we've got our stone brick copper ore iron coal magnetic coils and iron ingots and now for the bonus tip if you guys enjoyed the video this is probably the best time to like the video if you enjoyed the video and it was informative and it helped you if you are new please consider subscribing because there's more content where this came from so with the splitters or the conveyor belt splitters they're actually different types a lot of people don't know this but if you press tab you see it changes the different splitters so how this works is you actually have so there we go that's what the splitters look like there's actually three different methods to do this that you can incorporate in your base i just want to summarize and have an overlook of what we did today iron veins it looks beautiful man guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys watching the video and again if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more if you have any questions please feel free to put them in the comments below and suggestions on what tips you would like to see next i think we could do that my name is Evan Seven junior and i will see you in the next one cheerio for now